Look at how juicy this pork chop is. This is the Surf and Turf pork chop. Check out how I made it. So we're gonna start out with the new seasoning. That's the blue top. It's made for fish, but I'm telling y'all what, it's phenomenal on so many things. Look how much I got in the bottle. I am gonna sprinkle generously, my friends. We're gonna take us a fork and we're gonna poke some of this flavor in so it can really penetrate. Flip them over and we're gonna do it again. Some people say I'm a little heavy handed. I just like to say I live a flavorful life. Now I'll get you one of these little vacuum seal bags. You know, squeeze down in there. Big chunk of some Kerrygold butter. Half over here, half over here. While we're waiting on that to seal, observe that we still got a little bit of seasoning left. Maybe I'll put that on my eggs or something tomorrow. Look at those things, absolutely flavorful. We're going in at 140 degrees and we'll give it about an hour and a half. All right, there we have it. It's been an hour and 50 minutes. Now let's sear them. Get you a pan. Get it preheated. We want to retrieve our pork chops out of here. Oh my goodness, it smells good. There we go. Look at that buttery mix. We're gonna set this to the side. Now you grab the Dano's Primo. That's the gray silver platinum top. Give it a sprinkle, flip it over, and do it again. Now into our pan, we're going in with some grapeseed oil, and we're gonna add some of that butter mix. Maybe that had some water in it. Now we're gonna go in and see it. So let's go on and flip them. It's been about one minute. Got the nice little crust on there. All right, it's been another minute. Look at that bad boy right there. Let's set it over here. All right, let's stick it just because I'm curious to see where it's at. Well, looks like we're right at 140. I hope that's safe to eat. I'd say that looks absolutely perfect. 140 degrees, that's right on the borderline of where I would say it's safe to eat. But I'm telling y'all what, the flavor of poking in with the fork and sous vide in with the seasoning and then putting that primo on the crust, wow. That is one of the best pork shops you'll ever have in your life. Yum, yum, get you some. We'll see you next time, my friends. Keep sprinkling.